Madden Holiday is here and we will play all night. Call in sick and sound sincere in tackles will delight. The fridge is packed with drink and meat. The taste of victory sure is sweet. Okay, so eventually uh, Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots decided to part ways. Why does this always happen when I'm asleep? Anyway, um, yeah, so it's finally over. The news everyone was expecting to happen finally happened. Uh, right now I'd say probably the key candidates to replace Bill Belichick are Mike Vrabel, uh, Gerard Mayo. Um, not entirely sure if there's really anyone else. I know some people might say uh, Campbell, the offensive coordinator for the Lions, but... Uh, right now, I don't really know that so far, but, um, yeah, I know, I, I know there was at least one YouTube video theorizing that Josh McDaniels could be hired again, but, uh, you know, he's flopped twice as a coach now. Once you've done that, you pretty much don't get a third opportunity, so, yeah, um, overall, I would say, yeah, that's probably gonna be Vrabel. Um, I know Gerard Mayo's had a lot of interviews, but, um, I just, I don't really know. I mean... I guess that's kind of just my hunch right now, especially since there are talks of one of the reasons why Vrabel was fired because they couldn't work out a trade or they didn't want to work out a trade, whichever it was. That being said, don't expect any new announcements for head coaching hires anytime soon. I mean, with the way everything's been changed now, I believe you can interview uh, assistants who are currently employed, i.e. offensive and defensive coordinators and the like, but you can't announce their hiring until after the season because they don't want to be too much of a distraction. And I believe you can technically announce the hirings of unemployed coaches, i.e. if, say, the Falcons wanted to hire Bill Belichick now, they could. But I don't know if that's really going to happen just yet. Um, and I don't know what applies to college coaches here either. So there's always the idea of you have to get the hot news off first, but uh, I think, like I said, that's changed so much now because of so many candidates just being passed over so many times because their teams would go deep into the playoffs and everything, so they wouldn't be allowed to interview until certain points, and even then, yeah, um, they wouldn't announce it right away because they didn't want to be too much of a distraction. Meanwhile, the NFL has managed to announce who's hosting the European branch of the International Series next year. The London Games are being hosted by the Vikings, Bears, and Jaguars, while the while the Carolina Panthers are hosting the game in Munich next year. The Brazil game is still undecided. I believe JG9 News has some good theories about that, so uh, you know, just go there if you need to learn more. So, like I said this time, we're covering the NFC portion of the wild card round this weekend. The three games we're covering are going to be the Green Bay Packers visiting the Dallas Cowboys, the Los Angeles Rams taking on the Detroit Lions, and the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And yeah, when we get to that game, I know I matched the helmets up wrong. Uh, it was a glitch in Madden. I thought I had set it on the classic settings for the Buccaneers, but instead I got the uh, the pewter powder uh, the pu the pewter power helmets. Sorry. But uh, I go, we'll get to that when we get to it. So let's move on to previewing these games. My dog's healthy and it shows because he's got the high pro glow. Healthy high pro glow, energy the high pro glow. All the protein in high pro helps to give the high pro glow. Healthy high pro glow, energy the high pro glow. Protein helps to keep him strong, glow with health the whole day long. High Pro Glow, Energy, the High Pro Glow. Purina brand High Pro Dog Meal. Give your dog High Pro <laughs> IBM presents You Make the Call. Dan Marino of the Dolphins hands off to Lorenzo Hampton, who dashes into the end zone, where to celebrate his success, he simulates a roll of the dice. Now you make the call. Should Hampton be penalized? Page five headings. He wants them bolder. Check. Presenting personal publishing with the IBM Personal System 2. Page seven, artwork, smaller. No, no, bigger. Well, make up my mind, will you? Oh, no! What, what, what? The bonuses. Everything your business needs 
Okay, print it. To create quality documents in-house on short notice. I'd like you to make a few changes. Ah. Now get a thousand dollar rebate on the IBM PS2 Model 80 with personal publishing. What call did you make? Any obviously premeditated demonstration is considered to be unsportsmanlike conduct. Five yard penalty on the succeeding kickoff. John Randall, what's the key to the Redskins Jets game? Two words game tackling. Chris, take the ball. <laughs> Banzai! Game tackling! Yeah! It's a Fox NFL Sunday doubleheader at noon Eastern, 9 Pacific. Okay, so our first matchup is the Green Bay Packers traveling to Dallas to take on the Cowboys. Now, the Packers' defense, which struggled most of the year, seems to have played well the last two weeks, keeping the Minnesota Vikings and the Chicago Bears in check. Admittedly, that was the Vikings and Bears, so you might have to take that with a grain of salt. So, in other words, you don't really know which is the one that's going to show up. Is that going to show up, or the one that's earned three points to the Carolina Panthers going to show up? Now, while I would say the Dallas Cowboys defense is better, they haven't played spectacularly well the last few weeks either. I mean, you look at the game against Seattle, the game against Miami, um, even, you know, like some of the games against Buffalo or... Um, you know, even last week against the Commanders, the Washington Commanders, who aren't really good at defense, or on offense, I mean, they, uh, you know, they, uh, they, that first half, they kind of struggled a little bit. They were actually trailing at one point in that game. I don't think people forget that. Quarterback-wise, Jordan Love has brought some stability to the Packers quarterback position. It's been an easy transition from Aaron Rodgers, obviously. He doesn't force the ball into things, and while he does mimic Favre and Rodgers' throwing style to an extent, like I said, he doesn't quite make the gunslinger decisions that they made, so that's been very uh, beneficial. On the Cowboys' end, Dak Prescott has actually managed to drop his interception ratio. It's been, you know, he obviously said he wasn't going to throw 10 interceptions, and he threw 9 this year, so he at least got up to that. But it has dropped, and, you know, admittedly, I really would throw four force behind the Cowboys here, but I've been down this road so many times. I was there in 2007, 2009, 2016, 2021, where they did look like the best team going into it, and a good, pick to, a good team to pick to go to the Super Bowl, and they would lose, and just... You know, it would fall apart in the strangest ways. Last second field goals, um, controversial replay overturns, interceptions, everything. But that being said, while I can't necessarily throw enough weight behind the Cowboys to make the Super Bowl, I can at least throw enough weight behind them to win this playoff game. I think they are going to win eventually. Uh, they'll probably pull away in the fourth quarter. Um, you know, the defense will make some type of play to stop Jordan Love. So, again, I do think the Cowboys are going to win this one. Riding with my friends is my kind of fun. It helps keep me trim and fit, and so does milk. Milk gives me nearly half the calcium I need, more than half the riboflavin, for only an eighth of my day's calories. So, instead of counting calories, I'm making my calories count. That's what being in shape is all about. Milk, it does a body good. Let yourself feel how splendid you are with a rich, expressive fragrance created by Gloria Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt. Let it release the splendor of you. Vanderbilt. Our second game is the Los Angeles Rams traveling to Detroit to take on the Lions. It's the Jared Goff Revenge game, the Lions' first home playoff game in over 30 years, a time so long ago 
Deathmate was barely a twinkle in anyone's eye. Now the Lions do bring in a very high-powered offense and a very serviceable defense, and the Rams actually come in probably as the most dangerous team in the playoffs, as they've managed to have the rise of Puka Nakua and Kyron Williams and a healthy Matthew Stafford to get everything done. So, yeah, they're playing really good football and have managed to put a scare into several of the top teams in the NFC. And look, I really do kind of want to get behind the Lions. I did think they played exciting football throughout most of the year. There are times they really do look like real contenders and a top threat in the NFC, and then... You know, the Thanksgiving game against the Packers happened, or the home game against the Bears happened. Again, both those were at home, and they lost them. I mean, they just played terrible in both those things. Sometimes I think Matt Campbell can be, you know, I appreciate that he's aggressive, but yeah, he can be a little too aggressive sometimes. Case in point, that two-point conversion against Dallas, where he tried to get cute and, you know, fooled the referee into who was actually supposed to be eligible on that thing. So yeah, I could see where just that sort of stuff gets in the way sometimes. And the Rams right now, well, they're just playing really complete football. The defense is playing well. The offense is playing well. I kind of trust them a little bit more than the Lions. So, yeah, they might have a good chance to end their playoff drought, or the playoff victory drought to be more precise. But they still might have to wait a little bit longer for that to end. I'm guessing the Rams pull one out in a squeaker. Probably a late second field goal to get everything taken care of. But, yeah, the Rams are probably going to win this one. gotta be hard play tough be able to grind it out rush them, crush them have the guts to get the glory that's what it takes to be a winner and make it to 1989 starting lineup winners like esiason craig walker singletary white elway and more to add to your collection with all new uniforms poses and cards for 1989 each sold separately only starting lineup gives you the men who prove they've got what it takes to be a Now, for the first time, CoverGirl brings a soft, natural look to waterproof lashes. New lasting performance gel-based mascara for a soft look that stays beautiful morning to midnight. New lasting performance from CoverGirl. And we're looking, and we're looking at nothing. Hey guys, having trouble getting rooms? Sorry, we have absolutely nothing available, so... We can find rooms for these travelers. Yes. Rooms for the travelers. Four suites. Bingo. Four penthouse suites. Thanks. Move along. And we round things off with our Monday wild card game, the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. My oh my, have the mighty have fallen, and yet the mighty also don't kneel. I mean, the Eagles were once the hottest team in the NFL, looked like surefire Super Bowl participants, and then it just all fell apart. Some of the injuries, some of it's just bad defense, coaching personnel changes, player personnel changes, and, you know, it just isn't clicking anymore. Added to that, possible injuries to A.J. Brown and Jalen Hurts. I mean, Hurts dislocated his finger in the previous game, so again, that's going to hurt him a little bit. Conversely, before we had the Flacco Sons in Cleveland, we had the Baker Sons in Tampa Bay. I mean, you look when the Bucks, especially went into Green Bay and completely dominated that game and then completely dominated Jacksonville, they followed that up by flopping against the Colts and the Saints, and then they just barely squeaked by the Panthers. So, yeah, I mean, the Bucks aren't exactly playing great football themselves either. Now, again, on paper, the Eagles really should dominate this game, but the way they've played the last few weeks, even in games they've won, just really does not give me much in the way of hope. If the Bucks can get going, they're going to be really hard to stop. Like I said, they went into Green Bay and completely dominated that game. If something like that happens again, you know, they're at home this time. It could be even easier. So, yeah, probably a surprising prediction here, but I'm going to pick the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to beat the Philadelphia Eagles. I think the Eagles are just kind of doomed to a lost season right now. I mean, it was starting so fine and worked so well, but then it just completely fell apart. Bye, George. <laughs> It's happening now. The Washington's Birthday Sale at Emporium Capwell. Get ready for spring with our store-wide savings on lots of things for your home. Ways to shape up. Feeling good.
good. And spring <laughs> fashions to show off in. Wow. There's something for everyone. Shop the Washington's Birthday Sale now through Monday at Emporium Capwell. It's as American as shopping. It's Prego Plus, the only jarred spaghetti sauce with meat you can sink your fork into. Like whole slices of real Italian sausage. Meaty, hearty, fork-sized slices. There's Prego Plus sirloin beef and fresh onions. Veal and fresh mushrooms. Sausage and fresh green peppers and real homemade taste. It's all in there. Prego Plus, the only jarred sauce with meat you can sink your fork into. I'm glad you came, Mrs. Grayson. I'm concerned. Kathy's having trouble with her homework. What kind of trouble? Well, look. Well, it's a little messy. It's not just that. Her work's disorganized, too. But she puts so much time and effort into it. Kathy's got a lot of potential, but her work doesn't always show it. I just don't know what to do. Have you ever thought about a home computer? Can they help? Lots of kids are using Adam. Atom is the only affordable home computer that comes complete with built-in word processing so kids can easily correct, edit, and organize their work on the screen. And a typewriter quality printer that neatly puts it on paper, which leaves more time for kids to learn. Kathy, I saw your teacher. Uh-huh. Dad and I want to help. We're getting you an Atom. Really? Mm -hmm. The Adam Family Computer System. It's the smartest gift you can give your family. Sorry about how short some of those segments were. I guess there was just more analysis on the AFC side of the bracket than there was on the NFC side. Anyway, to recap things, I like the Cowboys over the Packers, I like the Rams over the Lions, and I like the Buccaneers over the Eagles. Okay, so the next video will be the previews for the divisional round. Again, there's going to be one for the AFC, one for the NFC. Um... Then maybe I will do, um, well, I'll probably do the conference championship games. And then uh, in that little off week period, I'll maybe do like a wrestling vlog to get kind of caught up on that as best as I can. Uh, what I think about what's happened recently in that world. Um, and of course, uh, we'll have the random trade review on Age of Bronze Volume 2 um, in, you know, about a week or so after that in that area. I said it was a month, right? So, yeah, it'll probably be the first week of February that that gets out. Okay, see you all next time. Hey guys, remember that you can support my work at patreon.com forward slash sleepy time for cat productions. Also, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel, and ring that notification bell so that way you can be alerted to further videos.